kickoff specialist for the Tigers. You look at Tom Herman. And we are underway in Austin. Atkins will drive that thing right out of the back of the end zone. And we'll start. First snap from scrimmage. Ellinger sets up the screen, and it is Ingram who's got some running room along the left side. He'll pick up the first down and get things. And now the first third down of the night, third and two, and Ingram makes his second catch, and it's just a tremendous open field tackle by Grant. But a good job of running that time by Burrow. Edwards aware, and Texas got up there and made a strong hit, and it'll depend on the spot to see how close they can be short moments ago. Edwards aware, spins away, has the first down. Clyde Edwards aware is finally dragged down just short of the little tempo here. Al Burrow takes a shot way down the field to the right side. And he's got his man, it's Terrace Marshall. Use one here. Do a kind of pressure. Orlando dials up. He gets some heat, and Edwards aware can't hold it. B.J. Foster was right there. McCulloch and the Texas defense has to break the ice on the scoring. From 36 yards out. Back in his home state, and York has the first point of the night for Coach O. And Maria told us that LSU retaping Fulton's right ankle, and they reach into the bag of tricks, and now Ellinger's going to be a receiver, and Sam Ellinger catches the pass and has a tech. Nice play for a first down. Another look to keep LSU honest. Ellinger going up top, and they're going right after, right after Cornell Flott, who replaced Fulton and Brennan Eagles. Tight ends, Ingram in the backfield, fourth and goal. Ellinger to wide open the door, and he dropped it. They had the right play drawn up, and Keontae Ingram couldn't haul it in. So far. Burrow has it tapped out, intercepted. Joseph Osai has it, and Texas is set up right back on the doorstep. Fourth and goal opportunity of the first quarter. Ellinger going right, being chased, not much room, and LSU stops him again. It was being aggressive, he's at home, he's got this crowd, why not take those chances, but give LSU all the credit. You can say whatever you want. He had a drop pass for a touchdown, I get that, but LSU. Burrow steps away from the pressure. He's got plenty of room to pick up the first down and more. And Joe, who's not much of a fan of sliding, will get out to the 35. Yeah, but when you bring all... Barely got the play off for Nett. Carries it and gets up across. He's telling him, hey, keep your head in it. At one point, he actually grabbed his head and said, stay in it. Back to Johnson again. And Deshaun Johnson, he started converting to third down tonight. This would be a very good time for the people in Burn Orange, and they do. The one-on-one -on -one matchups, the safeties are the key to Sam Ellinger on first and second down. Jason turns the corner, can't get there, and Eagles catches it and keeps his feet. Brandon Eagles into the end zone, touchdown Texas. A live call, a couple dummy calls on the sideline. Burrow down the middle, complete for a first down, is Justin Jefferson on the ground. New tempo-based offense. Burrow leaves it inside, and Edwards Aware pops out of the crowd. Clyde's inside the 30, and down close to the 25-yard line in the Bayou. Burrow. Finds Jefferson again, second time on this drive. Another first down, and LSU has first and goal. And, and, and when you have linebackers that are aggressive, they're and stopped on downs twice on this end. Right in front of the student section, too. Burrow fires, and it's caught by Justin Jefferson for the touchdown. How fitting. Twice, we just talked about how they're getting the ball to Jefferson behind the linebacker. Get it to the 35. LSU almost jumps. No contact. Ellinger standing in. Really good job by Cosmio and Caleb on chase on, but Ellinger took way too long. 
And he'll be that speaks to the relationship in the second year of Burrow and his receivers. Picked up 13. Joe goes right back to work. Into the middle, and he's got Marshall. Terrace Marshall is into Texas territory, and the Tigers, are they used to play not to lose on offense. This is a different mindset. Jones bringing the heat from the outside. Now Burrow's going to throw it to an open chase, and Jamar Chase has it. A first down inside the 25. Couldn't went to the Saints and found Joe Brady. Edward Delaire slips the tackle, and he works his way inside the 10. First and goal again for LSU. You know, six. And York is true for the second time tonight. He has great lift on her. LSU might get it one more time with some time. Pressure on Ellinger, and down he goes. It's Caleb on chase on. Well, you, you think of trying to defend an offense right now that's gaining some confidence. Joe's hit 10 of his last 12 passes. And make it 11 of 13. How about Jamar Chase? Yeah, it's just a different rhythm, a different Texas giving up the crosser behind the linebacker, and Burrow takes it every time. Pick up of 18. Burrow right back at it. Into the end zone. And Jefferson is there. And Burrow with the quick strike. And LSU trying to put this thing in a hammerlock just before the half. And Coach O had a vision of what he wanted on offense. He found the right guy. Steve Insminger has been very gracious in, in allowing Brady to teach them the offense and then implement it. Now Texas keeps it on the ground with Ingram with half a minute to play here in the first half, and Longhorns might need to go in and regroup. Yeah, Texas cannot get the ball thrown downfield at all. You know, their best receiver, Colin Johnson, up to this point, doesn't have a catch. He's 6'6". He catches the ball on everybody that he faces in the Big 12. This is an SEC defense. They wanted to challenge him at the line of scrimmage. They want to put safeties over top of him. First half goes to the LSU secondary. Remember that DBU who's in Texas? Is it LSU? After one half, it's LSU. They only gave him 3,000 tickets, and they put him way up in the nosebleeds, but they are making some noise here in Austin as LSU has a 20-7 to lead. That's the end of the first half here at Tech. Texas. Very balanced. Edward Delaire, he would have had a chance to pick up the first down, but he dropped the pass, and that is huge for doing. That, that's a member's bounce. <laughs> Rashawn Johnson gets it. Rashawn is Rashawn's done a really good job for a guy who just moved to running back to quarterback a couple of weeks ago. Another back back there besides Ingram. Johnson catches the pass and heads for the edge. Rashawn Johnson rear end over T. Kettle of around the 35 and close to the first down. And nothing else you can. I love his energy. You know, he's 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 coming in with a purpose, and he seems to be incredibly fired up just to have the opportunity. Sam hasn't been quite as accurate always as we've seen in the past, though so that one was right on the OJ Humphrey played last year in that slot. He shows some toughness there. Texas needs six on third down, and Ellinger's got it. his man completed, and it's Ingram. Who's over there lined up as a running back, but over here in the slot. It's the backer. And Divinity is back in the game, and he drops into coverage. Ellinger. Firing to the outside, and it's a first down. Texas at first catch of the night. Okay, Sam came up just short of the first down there. Doesn't need much. DeAndre Ingram has the first down for Texas, and it's first and goal again for the Longhorns. A good push there on the inside. Shot chases out there, and Jamar Chase goes up. And it looks like somebody just got mossed. It was Jalen Green. 41 yard pickup for Chase. Burrow down the middle, and another completion. Terrace Marshall with this one. First down by U Bengal. I'm, I'm very surprised that Todd Orlando, the defensive coordinator, keeps leaving these young front. Out in the flat, and Olaire gets drilled as he can't catch it in before.
Clutch, one of the nation's top kicking prospects. He started, when you do the math, he started on their own 14. It was a clutch, big drive. Ellinger going to try to get it a little quicker this time. And he goes down the middle and Johnson. Ellinger, Sam, into LSU territory, inside the 40, and chased out of bounds at the 35. He follows the lineman around the right side. Duvernay. Devin Duvernay. Duvernay down to the 20. Down the middle, it's in there, and caught for a touchdown! It's Jake Smith, the freshman! Burrow throwing it out, there's Jamar Chase for the first down for Jalen Green tonight. And the pop into Jefferson, and Jefferson has Texas with a first down at the Longhorn 26. Joe Burrow into the end zone. Touchdown, LSU. Terrace Marshall. Keep saying it. Can take it any time they want against the corners. He's corner. There have been great defensive backs at Texas. Aaron Ross, Quentin Jammer, Michael Huff. And that's what they, you know, they said they were just... Tribute. They weren't trying to take a shot sure. at LSU. And the LSU defensive backs here in the second half have been cut. <laughs> Ellinger right on the money. It's Duvernay again with his seventh catch of the evening. And he picks up the Texas first down. Uh, play clock getting down. Ellinger slant. Duvernay first down and touchdown. Took a hit, completed the pass to Jamar Chase, first down LSU. Bringing it. Burrow down the middle, and Thaddeus Moss makes. And then the penalty, and now LSU is driving again. Burrow to the outside and going down to the end, and the uh, catch by John. As long as he doesn't lose control. Back to the ground, Edward Delaire has control of the corner and control of the end zone. LSU back in the house. A great offense is answered. That's exactly what LSU has done here in this second half. Just as Sam Ellinger and Texas. On both sides, so it's third down and ten. Ellinger buys a little time. Johnson for the first the thrower. So they're trying to take their shots when they can. They converted a third and long last time by getting 19, and they converted it again. It's Duvernay making it. Yeah. I'm well, I've been well <laughs> <school. Okay. laughs> Third and 22. Quarterback draw. Ellinger trying to get a chunk of it back, so fourth down will be more manageable, and he does. I think they're going to have about nine to go for the most. On the way, one possession game. We're approaching a thousand yards of offense here tonight, partner. I was using 500. Look at Burrow, Look at complete. The Terrace Marshall ball came out. Right and now, line judge coming in and pointing down. Do with his third and long. First down on his way, and that might be the knockout punch. Both can stretch the lead to 14. And the end zone, and it's good. Jamar Chase. Run will move to 6 0. And LSU gets top 10 teams, not oh. Alabama. Ellinger gets the first down and keeps a little. 
Texas has had chances tonight to come close, and they're still hanging around and trying to make one more big play. And Elvinger makes another one, yeah. and it's Brennan down and run him out of time. So if you're going to give up a quick touchdown, you might as well do what Todd Harris did. Into the end zone, and a quick touchdown is there, and it is Duvernay. And Texas, maybe just the slightest of hope. The big hop is loose. It's loose in Texas if they controlled it. If they controlled it before it went out of bounds. And now it looks like LSU. Colin denizing for a player of his caliber just right there. He, he landed in bounds and he just been able to secure it. it. I mean, there was no question that he was in bounds when he hit the ground. And these two warriors meet. I, I've called them mirror images and they are. And they both were valiant. There's play. Tom Herman who recruited Joe Burrow to Ohio State. Great respect and admiration for one another. And I know it's great for Tom Herman's sad to lose, but incredibly happy for Joe Burrow and the way his career has turned out and what he has in front of him this year with this offense and his football team. You think that talent would find its way out anyway, but Burrow isn't sure he'd be playing college football at this level, if not for Tom Herman.